Everyone's back here with TLP News with a flash update about the engines of SN20 and the future of Starship launching from Kennedy Space Center. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's just get right on into it. Earlier today on Twitter, at PPathole responded to an Elon tweet and asked some questions. For Starlink launches using Starship, would Launch Complex 39A be the only option for these launches? And with the current launch setup at Starbase, could they launch also? Currently, Starlink launches into a 53-degree inclination orbit, and we do know some of the other shells will be different. Some great questions are in that tweet, so we're going to quickly break them down. But from Starbase, Texas, currently there's only a very small direction they can launch to, to the southeast between Florida and kind of the islands. In the future, they may be allowed to launch over land. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. At Kennedy from Launch Complex 39A, you can launch into a lot of other directions, which could be super useful for launching the next seven shells of Starlink. When launching 400 Starlink satellites at a time compared to 60 on the Falcon 9, obviously a lot less launches will be needed, but they might have a better option if they can launch into different inclinations to get the satellites exactly where they need to be, as these next shells are going to be a lot more frequently a instantaneous launch window. Well, Elon responded with a pretty clear response on Twitter, saying, After several successful launches, land over flight, E sub C safety thresholds, then said Starship will also launch from Cape long term. Uh, so we know SpaceX wants to bring Earth to Earth Starship transports into reality, so eventually, once it's a proven vehicle, it will have to be allowed to launch over land, but it's probably going to take a number of years for that. And today was also the graduation of Northwestern University, and President and CEO of SpaceX, Gwen Shotwell, gave an address to the class. During her address, she was walking through SpaceX headquarters and sharing some of her story, and passed a monitor with some very interesting information and a countdown. On the screen, we see a layout of the rafters of a Super Heavy booster and Starship, and the countdown title is Starship Orbital Launch. On screen, we can see the countdown as 25 days, 7 hours, and 30 minutes, which takes us to July 9th, 2021. Now, no, this is not when Starship SN20 will launch, but this is a tracker of Raptor development and delivery. Currently, SpaceX needs nine more Raptors for the Super Heavy and two more for SN20. Once these are delivered, they will have to be shipped to Starbase for installation, and I'm sure we will see a lot of testing of BN3 on the pad before they attempt to possibly stack SN20 and go for that launch. This image, though, is great news about how SpaceX is progressing towards this first orbital launch later this year, and with this info, I think end of July or early August, should no issues arise, be possible to see the first orbital launch. But we'll just have to wait and see. And I want to say, let's enjoy this journey, because these firsts will only happen once. So let's enjoy the time, watch Starbase grow, see the early prototypes being developed, because before we know it, we'll be heading back to the moon and on to Mars, but we'll always remember these early days of Starship. This is Zach with TLP News, signing off.